Matter of fact, before we go in, back to the earth, back to the earth. Watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Habakkuk chapter 2. All right. What are we teaching? That the so-called black Hispanics, Native Americans, that we're the greatest people to ever walk this earth. Because God said that we were. All right. And who's over the most high God? So what does it matter what anybody else thinks about us? Don't matter. The most high God, the creator of all things, set us up above everybody else. But we reject him. And what do we do? Read what you got. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 18 What profit the graven image? What does the Bible say? What profiteth the graven image? What profit? What gain is there for the graven images? That's a graven image, right? Come on. That the maker thereof hath graven it. You had to, a maker made that. He had to molten it, you understand, and fashion it in such a way. Come on. The molten image and a teacher of lies. What is, the, what is, it, what is that image called? And a teacher of lies. That's a teacher of lies, right? Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. That's a teacher of lies. Why? Because that image is the same as this image right here. You understand? And what did that image teach you? Did this image teach you that a woman should not dress like a man? Does that teach you that? No, it doesn't. Because if it did, you would not be out here dressed like a man, sister. You understand what I'm saying? But guess what? That image, this demigod, that demigod, it didn't teach us that. It taught us lies. Read it again. <clears throat> Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 18. Come on. What profit is the graven image that the maker thereof hath graven it? What profit is it that this maker hath graven it, put it in the store for you to buy or for your son to buy or maybe a loved one to buy to maybe give to you as a gift? You understand? They ain't mean no harm in it. They ain't no better. Why? Because they was taught lies too. Probably by the same image. You understand? Come on. The molten image and a teacher of lies. A teacher of lies. Read. That the maker of his work trust of therein to make dumb idols. To make what? To make dumb idols. God says that's a dumb idol. What am I reading? The Holy Bible. So <clears throat> if that was a righteous image, if that was a righteous charm, if that was a righteous pendant, it would be teaching you the truth, opposed to what? Lies, right. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The Bible says that a woman should not, this is the law, all right? This is the truth, all right? This is what, that's missing, you understand? Come on. Neither shall a man Put on a woman's garment. Neither should a man put on a woman's garment. A woman's garment, if I put that on, what would it look, what would it look like? What would I have on? Well, you would call me gay, right? Most people would. But what type of clothing would that be? If I put on something that pertains to a woman, what would that look like? What would I have to put on? What would I have to put on to be dressed like a woman? A skirt, a bra, a bra what else? A dress, you understand? All those types of things, right? Well, what? Read the, the beginning of that. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The Bible says that a woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. What type of things do women wear today that pertain to men? Um, I think feminines and. Right? Um, jeans. What else? Jeans, that's good. Right? What else? The main thing is what? Pants. Pants. Pants pertain to who? Right. Well, we got the zipper on them. You, you understand? It was always been for men. Your grandmama probably ain't wear pants. Yeah, my aunt to this day, you can't she even don't eat, house You see what I'm saying? You got a woman out here. You see that picture right there? I'm sorry. You see that picture right there where it say Deuteronomy 2830? Mm-hmm. got the boxes on. Uh, you say, no, right here. That one right there. You see that one? What a woman got on? They out there picking cotton. Dress. Right, what about under it? What they got on? Probably slip and some underwear. Yeah, oh yeah, I see the box talking about with the cotton in it. You see a woman right there? Mm -hmm. What they got on? 
got on? Yeah, what the woman okay. during slavery, what they got on? Right, so our, our women wearing pants is a new thing. It's a new thing on the earth. Yeah. Right? I was raised that way. Right, you was raised that way. Right? <clears throat> I have family members who was also raised that way. But guess what happens? Guess what happens? Hold that, 1 Corinthians 14, I think. Evil communications. Is it 14 to 33? What happens is we start to be influenced by the media. We start to be influenced by the other cultures around us. We start to be influenced by the people we look up to. We start to be influenced by all of these things. And then it corrupts the truth. And you don't realize you're following after lies. Lies. That's what you're following after. Lies. Read what you got. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33. Come on. Be not deceived. Evil communication. This is what happens. Like you said, I got even to this day, I got some family members that still wear dresses. But what happened to most? They changed. They conform. Why? Come on. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Evil communications. The evil communication was when you saw that commercial and the woman had pants on. The evil communication was when you went to church and the co-pastor had pants on. The first lady had pants on. You understand the evil communications was the things that we saw. You have that whole culture of uh, equality with a man and a woman being the same. That all was the evil communication. The women's rights uh, movement. You understand? All of that was a, 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 a evil communication. That, that, that it, 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 uh, it, uh, it, it put you in a situation where you thought you were fighting for equality right to be equal with your husband but god never created you to be equal to your husband yes, god created your husband to, to rule over you and yes. for you to be a help and a support to him right but the deceptions came with the evil communication that taught you that no you should be equal to the man you should be equal to your husband right just like us this is what the other nations were saying you understand and we we, we fell to that right maybe not you uh, consciously but I can tell you did because I can examine you and me and my family and all of our families and see the effects, right, of these communications that is in opposition to what the Bible says. Because the Bible says women dress like women. Men dress like men. The Bible says that. You understand? When we get outside of that, we in danger of the judgment all over again. All over again. So read what you got. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Those good manners was the good law that said a woman don't wear that which pertains to a man. Right. That was a good law that was given to you, right? But that evil communication, it corrupted that. It corrupted it, right? To the point where now, when you look around, we don't know what's right and what's wrong. We don't know what's right and what's wrong, right? And then when our women do put on a dress, right? First Timothy chapter two, back to that. When our women do put on a dress, the dress is so tight that you can see all of they, you can see they behind, you can see they camel toe, you understand? You can see their hips, their legs, they whole chest is out, right? When they do put the dress on, when they do put the skirt on, read. Verse 17, chapter 2, verse 9. Come on. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. The Bible yeah. says that a woman needs to dress modestly. Yeah. Modestly. Yeah. Modestly. Yeah. What does that mean? That means that you're not out showing off all your curves. When you go to the store to shop, you're not trying to see which uh, damn... Uh, a garment you put on that that shows your curves the best that you look in the mirror and you're trying to look like this to see what your ass look like that's right that's not modest that's not modest that's that's trying to have sex appeal which is completely different in opposition to dressing modest some things believe it or not sisters some things thank you thank you thank you 
Say it again, sister, please. Some things are for your husband. Right. But we show it off to everybody. Everybody. We show it off to everybody. We don't care. We have no regard for ourselves. We have no value. Our women do not value themselves today. That's why it's so easy. All you got to do, take them to the movies. Buy him some shoes. Take him out to, to the dinner. And what you got? The drawers. Just like that. It ain't no harder than that for most of our women out here. That's how easy it is. Why? Because our women do not value themselves. Right? And our men take full advantage of that. Take full advantage of it. And guess what? You get stuck with the baby. You get stuck with the baby. Because the man, what he going to do? Walk away. He out. Peace. Go I'm gone. I'm going to go to the next one. Bust in that one. Then I'm gone. You understand? Now you got another baby. Right. When you go fix that? It start with you. Because guess what? You control access to the sex, sister. Yes. You control access to the sex, sister. Yes. All you got to do is not have sex. That's right. That's all you got to do. That's right. You control that. That's you right. control that, sister. Right. right? If Maybe if you start doing that, maybe you might get married. Right. Might, maybe you might get married, right? right? It might happen. He might marry you right. if you do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So these are things to consider. But guess what? These demigods, right? These demigods, these idols, that idol right there, it's not teaching us that. It's teaching us what? I can dress how I want to dress when I come out the house. Teacher of lies. That's right. what that is. Teacher of lies. Right. right? These things are not put in our communities, not given to us, and sold to us in our own communities for the betterment of them. It's here for our destruction. Mm -hmm. It's here for our destruction. That's why we live it the way that we live it right now. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.